Hi guys. So this is take two of our frankincense talk. I'm just waiting for it to tell me that I'm live, so I'll just give it a minute. Okay, yeah, saying I'm live now. Yeah, take two, because take one, although two people joined in with me, it didn't record, so that wasn't much good for the rest of you. So I said I'd pop in today again and do just it now. It I'll just bring up my phone so I can see if there's any comments as we go. So frankincense, take two. Um, I'm going to talk to you today, beginning, just about what an essential oil is, because not a lot of people realise that an essential oil is actually the immune system of the plant. So it's the part of the plant that protects us from viruses, bacteria, fungi, or protects it. And the magic comes because we're carbon-based like a plant, so our body recognises it and knows what to do with it. And when you've got a pure therapeutic grade essential oil, you've got a very powerful form of plant-based medicine. And that's the angle that I come at when I talk about essential oils. Now the problem we've got is as a consumer, we just don't know what we're buying. And most of the oils that are available to us to buy on the high street are actually produced for the aroma. And also what I found out is that, hi guys, I can see your comments coming up, Jackie and Sunny. Hi, lovely to, to, lovely to have you here. Um, what I found out as well on my journey is that a company, as long as there's some essential oil in the bottle, they can fill it up with whatever else they want and they can put pure essential oil on the bottle. So as a consumer, we don't really know what we're buying. So as a result of that, a couple of, about three years ago, I actually aligned myself with a company called doTERRA, which some of you might well be f familiar with. So doTERRA only produce a therapeutic grade essential oil. And also for us as a consumer, they do, they put every single batch of oil goes through 15 tests. Three of them are outsourced independent tests. And we have access to the results of those tests on a website called source to you.com. And you can put your batch number in, which is on the bottom of the bottle and you'll bring up the report and you can see exactly what's in there and the properties of what's in there as well. Cause all this makes a difference when you're talking about using the oils for their medicinal benefits rather than just being a nice smell. And actually, some of the oils that we can buy out there that are mixed with something else could even go as far as being dangerous for us. Because when we put an essential oil on the skin or into the body, then we it gets into our bloodstream and you really don't want synthetic or fillers in your bloodstream. So that's why I only use the doTERRA ones and everything I talk about when I teach about essential oils, I'm coming from that perspective that we're using a therapeutic grade essential oil. Now, if you're interested in learning more about essential oils, I have got a workshop coming up on Thursday evening at seven o'clock. It's an online webinar. It's free to join. Throughout lockdown, I've been doing my essential oil webinars for free, but from, this is the last month that they will be free to join. So it's a good time to, um, to come on and learn what an essential oil is, how they work, and I go through the top 10 essential oils that we can use for 80% of uh, the things that we have going on for us. And what I will do is pop the link in the comments, so if anyone wants to book onto that, they can. Okay, back to frankincense. So while you're listening, if you've got some frankincense, get it to hand, because we're gonna do a meditation with the frankincense um, in about 10 minutes time. So let's talk to you about it. Frankincense is known as the oil of truth or the wise one. It's been used for thousands of years for its therapeutic benefits. So on, a, on the scale of essential oils, frankincense is known as a base to middle note, which means when you smell a blend of oils, the base note is the one that comes through last and seems to hang around a lot longer. So it's a very grounding oil. So I'm just looking for mine. There it is. When you breathe it in, you immediately feel very grounded. It um, has a very rich, woody scent to it. Been used traditionally in a lot of spiritual and religious ceremonies. And this is a really amazing oil to meditate with. So that's why I chose this one to go through with you first in our meditation series. Now the chakras that this responds very well to are your crown chakra and your third eye. So actually one way of using it is just to put a drop on your finger and just rub it on your third eye. 
and that has the effect of really opening up your vision your inner vision so when you're meditating with an essential oil it brings through images a lot clearer if you like to work with crystals with your essential oils then some crystals that go really well with frankincense are amethyst green apophyllite agate but specifically the purple agates that we can get and a crystal called kyanite so those work really well with the vibration of frankincense so frankincense has been a really valued resin for over 5,000 years the ancient Egyptians would use the crushed charred remains of burned frankincense as an eyeliner as a coal eyeliner the resin is traditionally associated with the three wise men in the bible who are believed by some historians to be astrology priests from babylon and one of the gifts that they brought to the infant jesus was frankincense physically frankincense is amazing for cellular support so it's one that I will use internally under my tongue every day, just one drop under the tongue. And when I talk about internal use of the oils, I'm only talking about the doTERRA ones specifically because they have been certified. Some of them have been certified as safe for consumption and frankincense is one of them. So if you've got a bottle of frankincense hanging around in the drawer somewhere that you've had for years and you're not sure of the quality of it, please don't use it internally because it could be dangerous. So I'll put a drop under my tongue and that has the effect of getting systemically into the body really fast. It goes through into the bloodstream and the reason why I love frankincense is because it's so effective on a cellular level. So in our body we have cells and the cells will have a cycle of growth and death and this cycle is called apoptosis. Now sometimes that goes out a bit out of whack in people and the damaged cells aren't dying off. So what happens is in the body, when a cell becomes damaged, the body's got 24 hours to heal it or kill it off. And when that goes out of whack, we get damaged cells building up in clusters. Now we've, been, we've seen it with frankincense that it can actually be cell specific and it can find a damaged cell. And with the body, it, it can set about repairing the cell. And if after 24 hours that can't be done, frankincense puts that cell into apoptosis or cell suicide. So a new healthy cell can take its place. It also works on us, on, on, our, on our healthy cells as well. And one of the ways, the other ways I use frankincense is topically. And I'll mix it with a carrier oil like fractionated coconut oil. And I'll roll it around my eyes and around my lips and then I'll massage it in with my usual moisturizer because if you think about it on a cellular le level topically externally we need the cells to be of a strong healthy nature now the aging process the way I describe it is if you think about this book if I took a photocopy of this book and then I just photocopied the photocopy and I kept photocopying the photocopy the one I'm going to be left with after a while is not going to be as good a quality as my original and that's a bit like the aging process as the cells reproduce and replicate then what we get 20 30 years down the line is not the same quality that we had in our 20s so that's the aging process now with frankincense because of its ability to enhance and protect the cells we can actually keep our cells looking younger for longer so that's why I use it on my face topically. Okay, what else do I do with it? So, um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. Emotionally, let's look at emotional use. Emotionally, frankincense brings a feeling of calm and peace. So it's a really good oil for quieting ruffled emotions, being feeling a bit out of balance. Frankincense also facilitates deep breathing. So just by breathing it in, you're encouraged to breathe in more deeply, which has the effect of calming hysteria. So if you've got somebody that's in a real panic, then just breathing in frankincense can very quickly calm them down. Now with essential oils, when you breathe it in, it very quickly gets taken into the limbic part of the brain. That sends a message to the, um, another part of the brain, which then releases a chemical hormones around the body. So it's not just that the, the essential oil smells nice so I feel calm. 
it's actually a chemical change happening around the body when you breathe an essential oil in. And that's why it works so quickly on an emotional level. So feelings of anxiousness, sadness, just feeling a bit low and a bit blue, frankincense is a really good aid. It blends really lovely with bergamot, um, lemon and marjoram. So frankincense, bergamot, lemon and marjoram would make a really good calming blend to make. Mentally, frankincense has the ability of clearing your mind and any incessant chatter. That's why it's so good for meditation because that's the zone that we want to get into for meditation. And just by using some frankincense topically like I did on the third eye and then breathing it in, it just clears the mind and helps you to focus on what it is you're meditating on. So the result of this is a clarity of consciousness. So the scent of frankincense automatically transmutes thoughts and feelings to a deeper level of understanding of yourself. So the meditation we're going to go on in a bit is really going to take you into yourself to find out why you're here. My favourite topic. Frankincense also brings higher levels of clarity to your experiences. It can help you to quickly centre yourself and quieten down your thoughts. So it's a really good oil for focus and grounding. Spiritually, frankincense is the ultimate oil for meditation. So it really helps you to align yourself with compassion, inner peace, tolerance and love. Frankincense aligns you with your higher consciousness. So it increases your awareness of the spiritual and mystical experiences that are available to us in the universe. And these higher levels of consciousness are sometimes called super consciousness. You might have heard them as objective consciousness, the Buddhist consciousness, cosmic consciousness or God consciousness or Christ consciousness whatever is in line with your way of thinking so it's a really good oil for people that are spiritual counselors intuitive readers Reiki practitioners and meditation facilitators or people that just want to set up a meditation practice in their own home this oil really helps connect you to Archangel Zaphiel for understanding and mindfulness, or Archangel Uriel for illumination and peace. So we're gonna do a meditation now so you can tune into the energy of your frankincense. So you guys that are watching, hi Kathy, hi Rupinda. If you've got some frankincense, go and grab your bottle now, because I'm gonna get you to use it during the meditation. But if you don't have any frankincense, then don't worry about it because the meditation we do will take you into that vibration anyway. Now, while we're meditating with frankincense, it, don't be surprised if you become aware of the colors magenta, purple, white, silver, or gold. They're, they're all the same vibration that we're talking about here with frankincense. So the meditation we're going to do now has been designed to allow you to connect to the healing powers of frankincense, connecting to the oil of truth. So it can help to reveal any deceptions and false truths and invites you to let go of the lower vibration, things like lies, deceptions and negativity. So this oil will really base a new perspective for you in light and truth. You can listen to it with us now and you can also listen back to the replay and really get deep into what's going on for you right now. Frankincense will also help you to bring back into your memory your spiritual understandings, your gifts, your wisdom and your knowledge that your soul brought into this world with you. So it's a really powerful energy cleanser. It's going to connect you to your inner light and reveal the truth of the situation that you're in. So it can really help you with spiritual awakening. It can really help you get that connection to the divine, the higher self, the universe, God. Whatever word you're comfortable with really for that. And frankincense reminds you that you're loved and protected. So I hope you've had enough time to grab your bottle of frankincense. And if you've got it, I can't see you, but I'm just let me know in the comments if you're playing along or if you haven't got any frankincense. If you have got some, just put a drop on your hand. Just one drop, don't worry if two comes out. And then with your other hand, with your dominant hand, I'm gonna get you to move it in a circle. 
what we're doing here is we're just activating the oil and while you're moving it in a circle just think about what you would like this oil to help you with today so you're putting your intention into your oil today I would like this meditation to help me and just fill in the blanks and then when you're ready bring your hands up to your face and take a few deep breaths And as you breathe, open fully to the wisdom and healing that this oil brings. And if you haven't got the essential oil, don't worry, just pop your hands up to your face anyway, almost like you're in a prayer position. Close your eyes and just start to focus on your breathing. Deep breaths in and slow breaths out. Just allow yourself to relax. Allow your mind to empty, any thoughts to disappear. As you focus on breathing slowly and gently in and out. Take your awareness down to your feet and feel them relax. Relax your legs. Relax your stomach. Relax your chest. Let your shoulders drop as you relax your arms and hands. Now allow this feeling of relaxation to travel up your neck and into your head. As you relax all of your facial muscles, your eyes and your jaw. As your whole body becomes deeply calm and relaxed. As you tune in to the intoxicating scent of the oil, you feel the energy around you start to change. You're just noticing now that silver and gold colours of frankincense are coming into your awareness. As you see, sense and feel this amazing metallic blend of silver and gold all around you. You may become aware of the energy starting to strengthen your auric body the energy field that surrounds you. You may feel the oil working on your higher chakras, on your third eye and your crown. As you fully tune into the energy, you watch as it changes into a silvery mauve colour that holds a deep blue flame within. And as the image comes into view, you realize the blue relates to honesty, truth, and divine protection. And you allow this energy to come closer to you and feel it starting to move into your physical body. The effect is profound. All of this energy stimulating clear thinking while easing any tension at the same time.
This is a time of growth and change. The life force from your oil is bringing the truth of who you are and what you're here to do. Just allow this feeling of serenity and calm to wash over you. As you begin to feel the effects the frankincense is having, as it increases oxygenation energetically within. Feel it clearing away any lower vibrations, any negative energies that you may have been carrying. Feel it in your heart. Feel it in your third eye and crown. Serenity enters your soul and connects with your divine essence. So use this space, this expanded awareness to ask any questions you may have. What support do you need at this time? Just ask for it now and allow the divine, your higher self, the universe or God, whatever word describes your understanding, to bring you the answers and support that you seek at this time. new perspective based on light and truth starts to form as your spiritual understanding, gifts, wisdom and knowledge are awakened within. And as you enjoy these feelings of light and truth, silently place the affirmation, I focus on empathy and kindness. Each day my intention is to live, love and act with compassion towards every person I encounter. I am aligned with the healing powers of inner peace and kindness. I am able to help others by vibrating love through my presence, words and actions. The love and protection this oil brings will remain with me always. Now bring your hands to your heart. Take another few deep breaths. And start to bring your awareness back into the room. Feeling the ground beneath you. Feeling what your back is resting up against. Feeling the room all around you. Take a few deep breaths. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I'll just give you a moment now just to coming back round if you've been doing that meditation with me. Just pop in the comments how you found it, what experiences you had. And if you're watching this on the replay, then just let me know. Just type in the comments replay and any questions that you might have or experiences that you had with that meditation. And I'll keep coming back to the group, just having a look at the comments, see if there's any questions there. 
So hopefully you enjoyed that experience of frankincense. Now if you don't have any frankincense, one thing I do like to point out is please don't buy it from Amazon, mainly because we've had reports that the oils that there's, people are selling on Amazon aren't the true doTERRA oils. We're not allowed to sell them on Amazon. So the people that, that are, aren't wellness advocates for doTERRA. And just like anything in the world, people like to make a bigger profit and they're diluting it down. So please don't go that way. Buy your doTERRA oils from a doTERRA wellness advocate. You get so much support from them that um, it's, it's invaluable really. And if you want to learn more about essential oils, then do join me for my webinar on Thursday evening, seven o'clock. So it's free until the end of July. There are some other dates if that doesn't work, um, but I'd love to see you there. And hopefully you enjoyed that. I can't see any comments coming up. So I'm presuming that you're all spaced out and don't have anything to say to me. I'll be back next Tuesday for Transformational Tuesday. It let me know in the comments the kind of things you would like me to cover. You know, my interests, my passions are essential oils, crystals, meditation, healing techniques. So just let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you'd like me to make sure I cover. Um, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Usually these are two o'clock, but five o'clock seems to be a better time for people. So maybe you can let me know that in the comments too. Do you prefer an afternoon session and you can catch up on the replay? Or would you prefer an evening session so you can join in live? Okay, well, thanks everybody so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Okay, lots of love. Bye.